The hottest stories trending right now, including, as Lara told us, Jessica Simpson's brand new baby boy, the latest on Alec Baldwin's Twitter rant, mm. and a huge weekend at the box office. And here to talk about it all, our good friend, editor at People Magazine, Good morning, all. Larry Hackett. Good morning, sir. Happy July. Yeah. So we, we just heard with Lara that Jessica Simpson, I, I didn't know that until I came in this morning, a little baby boy. We knew it was going to be a boy. We yeah, did. That was so 14 funny months when apart. she said that. That on, kind of squirted yeah. out on Jimmy Kimmel yeah. back in March. <laughs> um, and, uh, yes. exactly. and uh Blair's favorite word. Yeah. <laughs> so we knew there was going to be a C-section. We had heard several right. weeks ago that it was going to be scheduled around this weekend, and so finally it happened. Um, the baby's name is Ace Newt. Ace Canute. Canute. Yes. Canute. And this is not, obviously, Consider Newt, myself uh, corrected. This is not about Newt Rockney, no, although the football not. player that had the father's football player, and it's also not about Canute the polar bear. Yes. Mm -hmm. the polar bear. Oh. No, neither one of those. Eric's grandfather is um, Swedish? Scandinavian Swedish, yes, mm -hmm. and his name was Canute, so same after them. Keeping in line with uh, Maxwell Drew's names, which are the names of uh, the maiden names of women in the family. So the names are all, all in the family. All That's really nice. I don't know where Ace comes from, so I'll have to work on that. But I love it. I think Ace is a great That's name. That's a yeah. great name. It's cool. It's like a cool boy name. It's very nice. Yeah. Leave it to Beaver, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. And hey, Ace, come on in and come have on, some yeah. soup. Come on and, in. And we a very busy family unit. We were yes, saying uh, they're, so. they're not married yet. Any details on that? Well, you know, they had been planning on getting married after the first baby was born, but then things happened. Babies keep getting in the way. Yeah, you know, exactly. So I was saying, we'll wait and see what happens. They're just too happy. <laughs> they really are. They really are. I want to ask you about this. Alec Baldwin attacks a journalist uh, yep. who suggested that his wife, Alaria, had been tweeting during James Gandolfini's funeral. Right. He did so and used a gay slur yep. in doing so on Twitter. He has since walked his way back from it, has Alec Baldwin. However, you know, this is happening at the exact same time that Paula Dean is seeing an empire crumble for racial slurs that she confirms that she used decades ago. Do you see now a double standard? Because Hollywood has been noticeably silent with regard to Alec Baldwin. I think a lot of this is about several things. Sure, I mean, anybody would look at it and say it's a double standard. I think it also goes to the idea that what happened with Paula Dean, again, and it is not forgiving her use of the language, um, may in some quarters seem as being kind of harsh. I think what makes this really terrible, this is all about forgiveness or lack of forgiveness. And I think a lot of people feel really uncomfortable about <coughs> meeting out some kind of punishment, whether it's to uh, Alec Baldwin or to her. I find this whole story, though, fascinating. Really, really uncomfortable. I mean, yes, there's clearly a double standard here, but does that mean that we're in the business of saying, okay, gay slur 2013, you get X. You know, yeah. um, right. African American slur 1986, you get X. It's just a really, really awkward situation. I, again, to I, be. I find the silence, though, to be deafening. I think this I'm is in keeping, you know, he, he, he says explosive things on Twitter, sure. he insults people. This is not out of the ordinary. We know this about him. Without that, forgives it, obviously not, but we know it. I would love to see them come out and say, once you've been nailed for saying something inappropriate like that, I would love for you to come out and do a PSA and teach people sure. how it may be it may moment. be something that's around you all the time and you just say it out loud right. or you just burst out loud right. but it's not okay Make and it hurts positive. people's feelings and if there's anything good about this people realize it's none of this is okay so don't do it yeah, that's it yeah. move exactly. forward don't do it it's exactly. not good one last item again with Larry your he, your pop news was like this our heat index uh, well, <laughs> that's how hot it was you know what hot it's it that hot but, but speaking of the hot the heat Second at the box office. Right. I mean, really surprised a lot of people with how, I mean, a strong second behind Monsters University. You have two very popular stars. You have an incredibly established formula in the buddy movie, but in this case, it's with women. And we all know Melissa McCarthy's funny. Yeah. And there were no other movies for this audience. I mean, not to take mm -hmm. away from White House Down, but I've seen that movie before. Um, and I think a lot of people are saying, here's finally a movie not for 14-year-old boys. And they went to it. And there was a lot of anticipation. The studio was really behind it. I mean, we had heard a long time ago this movie was very, very funny. And it paid off. And it is very funny. Yeah. Hey, hey, can I uh, just add a little plug? Demi and Bashir, who's also in the film, is here later in the program. Oh, he, he plays um, Sandra Bullock's boss in yep. the movie. He's very, very funny. He's also an Oscar nominee. Very, very funny? Yeah. <laughs> Those go together? That's very funny. <laughs> it's warm in here today, Larry.